All right, Chef Leroy here, and uh, well, I've been a member of the Harley family since last year, um, so a little over a year since February. I bought my first Harley, was the uh, Sportster S, it was a 21, uh, that was their first year they came out. So there's lots of issues with it. Um, in order to get a better sound, you have to replace the complete exhaust system, so that was a uh, not a great thing. Um, there's also issues with the ride. Yeah, super sporty, super fast, really lightweight, really easy to maneuver. Uh, this bike here is a lot heavier, so it is a little harder to maneuver, at least for me. I've got a little bit shorter legs. And, um, but, and also, I, I uh, with the sports dress, it was like really uncomfortable to ride. The steering wheel was a little too forward. Um, I guess I'm not much of a sport bike rider, so that's probably why I had an issue with it. Um, but also the seat was like sitting on a park bench. It was not very comfortable. Every time you hit a bump, you just felt everything. So I thought, you know what, it's time to start looking again. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to uh, look at some different bikes. And I came across this Road Glide. Um, I wasn't sure about white, uh, but now that I see it and it looks really beautiful in the sunlight with this metal flake in here uh, it's a pearl white really nice looking bike with a black engine this is a 2024 I got a really good deal on it so honestly I just couldn't pass it up um, I've already ordered a new windshield uh, through clockworks this windshield is too short there's just so much wind it literally hits you right in your face so um, I decided to get a little taller windshield now Windshields, you're not supposed to look through them, at least this style. You're supposed to look over the top of them, but I just got to get that wind to get a little bit higher up over the top of my helmet. Otherwise, I really like this bike. Um, it hooks up to Apple CarPlay, so that's interesting. In fact, today I was using it with my Cardo um, um, system here in my helmet. I can use it for phone calls, but this has a really beautiful display on here. Um, again, I'm a little bit shorter, so this, this bike is a little bit top-heavy uh, for me. I'm not tippy-toeing exactly, but I'm not exactly flat foot either, so you've got to be a little careful coming up to stops. Um, braking on this is really uh, good. The throttle's got a really um, quick response, so I'm trying to learn it a little bit compared to my other two bikes that I have. And uh, uh, so far I've noticed that if you use your foot brake, your back brake, as you're coming up to a stop, that's a lot easier to control. If you're using your handbrake, then you have a little bit more issues because your throttle's right here, so you can have a, you gotta be really careful what you're doing. The other downside with the Sportster S2 is only a two gallon tank, so it held very little gas and uh, didn't have that good of cruising range. So I really like their saddlebags here. Um, there's this lever here to pop them open. And these little guys right here are to pull them off and there's actually an adjustment for uh, the spring on this side and there's an adjustment on the other side for uh, shock response or whatever it is too. So there's a couple things that you can do to adjust your, your uh, ride. But uh, so far I really like it. You can actually take these off and drive around without them too. So you got a little bit different looking sporty kind of look. Um, the only other thing I'm waiting for from the dealer is the... Uh, passenger foot peg the guy that owned it before took them off now there's a couple blemishes here the guy fell over with it so it scraped this here got a couple little scratches here and there but you barely can even see anything here's another one right here another one up here there's a little bit one on the mirror there's one on the engine bar so there you have it guys I'm now a road glide uh, family member so they're nice looking bike let's start her up I hear what the sounds like here
see it's got a really nice display and you can change the display. There's uh, two other types of displays on here. Um, it's got uh, Apple CarPlay, so I can play my tunes off my phone right onto, onto the stereo. It's got some nice deep pockets here for different things. Here, there's CarPlay, so I can just hit OK. Um, nice deep pockets. I got my garage door opener in here. There's also a USB um, cord in here, a USB-C. And then these close down just like that. You can throw your keys inside or whatever. They don't lock, so you got to be careful with that. All right, so I'd like to show you this here. So this is my new rig for the motorcycle. Got it on my engine guard. So I've got the clamp on there, a couple little adapters. And this is the Action 3 by DJI, and I'm actually filming this with my Action 4. And I've got this um, new uh, neck harness, what they call it the uh, fishing, I don't know, I want to call it the fishing gear set up but I've been using it for other things too it's really slick now here's the beauty of uh, DJI's cameras so watch this all I gotta do is release these two little clips and off comes the camera there's some other ones out there that you have to unscrew this screw here to take the camera off DJI just clips on the only thing you gotta do is make sure it's clipped all the way in and that's it that's what's nice about these. So, so far guys, loving the new Harley. Go around this way so you can see what the pearl white looks like. Some handprints here. <laughs> you can see them in the sun really well. I like the all blacked out engine for the most part. There's a little chrome in there too, but looks pretty sweet. Much better ride than the Sportster S but they both have their applications, I guess. All right, that's it for now, guys.